my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from Dadex. And today we're going to take the Praxis through a level 4 mission. The mission on offer today from our wonderful agent. Let's have a look. We've got Attack of the Drones. Right, we'll have a quick look at the mission guide on the EVE Uni website. Okay, here's the mission page on EVE Uni, Attack of the Drones. It's drones, so... We need to be dealing EM and thermal damage, that's fine, we can take care of that. Using the right heavy missiles and the right drones this week. I made a right cock up last week, didn't I? <laughs> Those of you that notice, um, I don't know what was going on in my head, but I put Amar drones in the Raven, sorry, the Navy issue Drake, specifically so I had explosive damage. I have no idea what was going on. I think it was something to do with colour coding in my head, but there you go, such is life. We made it. <laughs> All we lost was an MTU, but we'll talk about that again in a minute. Damage to resist, we've got a bit of a mixed bag, but it's not certainly not our EM weakness, so that's fine, even though our EM hole is plugged. Now I'm just looking at the triggers, and basically each, each ship you kill on the first wave that's there when we arrive, or actually arrives just after us, I think, if I remember rightly, is going to spawn a reinforcement wave. I think there's only these four reinforcement waves, I think we're going to go ahead on this run and just pop all the triggers and see how we get on. It's time I, I push the limits a little bit on these ships. The last runs in the practice have been pretty sedate. And we can see only the elite frigates can get a tackle on us and keep us on grid. So uh, if things get really hectic, which they may well do, we can leave whenever we need to. Let's have a quick look at the hull bonuses for this fine battleship. As you can see, just the hull... This is regardless of skills, we get a 25% bonus to large hybrid turret, large energy turret and large projectile turret damage. 25% to heavy missiles, that's the one we're after. Cruise missiles and torpedoes. 50% bonus to drone damage and hit points, very handy, they're tougher and they hit harder. And a 37.5% bonus to core and combat scanner probe strength, not very relevant. Very versatile hull. That's pretty good. It's quite comparable to some of the bonuses we've been getting on some of the racial battleships, at least in terms of damage. No tank bonuses here at all. I have put this through a few sites. It seems to be doing okay. I've gone for a passive tank. I have seen these praxises and I know I've done it. You can you can tank a praxis, make it cap stable. It would probably be able to just sit on the middle of one of these sites and tank it. Um, that's not the kind of the way I play. I like to play a little bit more interactively than that anyway. And as I said, I think this might be the site where we trigger the spawns and just see if the ship can cope. I've gone for rapid heavy missile launchers. Now we're going to look at how I manage the rapid launchers when we're outside. I've got 59 kilometer range with the Moln here heavy missiles, just the regular ones. I have got some rage missiles too. I think their range probably be about 40 kilometers. That's plenty. So we can hit out to a nice long range and we can do a nice lot of damage. Just over a thousand DPS showing here. That's going to depend on which drones we've got out, but we'll get to them. Down in the mid slots, we've got two multi-spectrum shield hardener twos to give us some resistance boosts. We've got one missile guidance computer, which at the moment is loaded up with missile range script to give us a little bit of extra range on our missiles. I think it's about an extra 20 kilometers, but I'm not going to run it. I'm going to keep the missiles and the drones with the same range. I'm not worried about the application on the heavies at all. They'll be fine, especially with the painter running. I put a micro warp drive on the Praxis rather than an afterburner. It's such a slow ship. It's slower than the Raven with an afterburner on it. Controlling range, I think, is very important on these sites. And we may have to pull range if the damage gets a bit heavy. So although we're not going to run it very often potentially, we are going to have a compact micro warp drive so we've got the range control. I'm not worried about signature radius blooms when nothing on grid is bigger than us anyway. It doesn't really make it a huge problem. We've got the target painter. I love the target painters. It attracts aggro from the rats if we can't actually hit them with the missiles and it does help the missiles and the drones apply to the smaller rats. Down in the bottom... I've got three ballistic control system twos. I've got two drone damage amplifier twos. I basically experimented in the fitting screen of which gave me the best DPS figure. As I said, there's a bit of variation depending on the drones, but this is the best balance I've found for this alt. We've got one upgraded co-processor because we need a little bit of CPU in this fit. 
The Praxis is a ship that you will find you may be adding CPU or power grid to. It's just the way the ship's built and it's fine. It's got enough slots to accommodate that. Don't want to be seeing too many of these kinds of uh, modules installed on general ships though. And then to finish off down the bottom, we've got a damage control too. It's up in our resistances across the board. It's not the most significant boost on a shield tank, but every little helps. And who knows, if we do leech into armor, the 15% bonuses on our armor resistances could be very, very handy. Over in the rigs, I've simply gone for one large EM shield reinforcer and two extenders. The EM reinforcer will be useful on this site, but remember the actual Praxis hull comes with balanced shield, armor, and hull resistances. No EM hull like Kaldari Mimitar ships. In the drone bay, we have a 225 cubic meter drone bay. I've got nine Acolyte ones. I've got eight infiltrators, the integrated type. In the last video, I completely overestimated my loss when I left the drones behind when the guy came and messed with me. I was pricing Navy drones in my head, not the integrated ones. So that wasn't as bad as I thought it had been. And then we've got four integrated Praetor drones. They're the large drones. Now the Praxis only has bandwidth to fly four large drones at once. We can fly five lights, we can fly five mediums, we've got some spares, and then when we've only got the battleships left, maybe battle cruisers will put the Praetors out to take care of them. But these guys here, probably the infiltrators, are going to be doing most of the work. But I've definitely got the right damage type, EM from the drones, EM from the missiles. Our drone control range and our missile range with the regular missiles match up at 54, which is handy. And we've got just over a thousand DPS it's showing here. That's going to vary slightly depending on which drones are out, which ammo we're using. It goes up to about 1200 with rage. But the range layer is going to be about 42, I think. We'll have a look when we're outside. Tank-wise... Here, without the hardeners on, we've got about 74,000 HP. With the hardeners on, it goes up to about 96,000. But will it be enough if we spawn all those battleships at once? So let's accept the mission. I'm not taking an MTU. It has nothing to do with the experience in the last video of losing the MTU. We'll talk about that when we're out flying. Um, I simply don't think there's going to be enough to warrant it. What I have done before we undock, I've checked the kill boards for this system. But we'll update them because I actually opened this page a while ago now. So here's today, not much going on today. This guy was in local earlier, he's gone. He seems to be the main perpetrator of the aggravation. You can see what he's doing, he kills the MTUs. If the guy turns on him, as I said in the last video, then he will get you. I've looked at what the guy is flying, he either flies a half billion Nurgle or about a 1.3 billion Demios. So yeah, don't aggress the guys back that blow up your MTUs. Not unless you really, really know what you're doing. You're not going to do it in the ship that you've got there to run the mission in. I can pretty much promise you that. You might know better, you might have a ship that is capable. But my general advice is if someone comes and gets your MTU, just leave them be. Just accept that loss and avoid a greater one. The biggest mitigation is going to be to stay close to your MTU so if anyone comes near you and messes, it might mess with it. As soon as they come on grid, you pull it in. Other than that, you could not use the MTU. You could go back up afterwards and do that stage. I know it's going to take more time, but it's time or safety. I'll leave you to decide about that. I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm not taking an MTU out with me. So we're going in with a low cost, very much the lowest cost we've used so far. This is over 200 mil cheaper than the Raven, 100 mil cheaper than the Navy issue Drake. That could be spent on upgrading the fit, but we're going to go in as we are, spawn everything and see how long we can ride it out or if we can manage to clear the site. But we'll see. That's not really the point here. I think this mission may become a bit of a test bed. Um, obviously, it depends how often they come up in rotation. But going on this mission, spawning everything and seeing how a fit copes. And also, I need to learn the ranges of the rats, how the damage comes in, where they spawn. And the only way to do that is really to let it happen. So I'm not worried about taking a bit of a clattering in the name of science and education. Before we go anywhere, we're going to do some filing. Um, I can't, can I split this group now we're out here? This is really annoying. Right, we're going to put those five out there. And then we're going to move this four out of group. And then I'm going to pull that group back in. 
and then I'm going to put out the prayer tools because it only put five out of those and then we're going to move these to drone heavy they're not really heavy they're medium and then we can drag the rest of these guys down into here just like that so that's that group sorted out and then the four prayer tours I'll put those out and then we'll move those to group heavy lovely jubbly and then you can just do that shift click the bottom one drag them all down there right that's the drones filed make sure they're all back in now on the rapid heavy launchers which I'm going to keep grouped together splitting them up is an option but I find micromanaging these for such a long re reload can be a little bit of a nightmare you could group them up into kind of I don't know a three or four if you find that that is appropriate if you don't know how to do that you just shift click and drag them on top of each other so there's two stacks there there's three stacks there I've only got six haven't I so there you go we've got two groups of three and then I can move that group of three over here move the painter back there Mike brought drive there lovely but I am actually going to just keep them all in one group for now what we need to do I'm going to turn off the auto reload because the reload is the easiest point for us to switch ammo type if we're going to I don't mind putting out a few rounds of the wrong ammo if I'm near a reload it says you have to stop the launcher, catch it before it goes into reload. I just find it easier. You do then have to remember to manually reload it. Once we get settled in and we know we just need one damage type, which we probably only need here, but I might want to switch to rage at some stage. So I'm going to leave it on manual reload and hope I remember to do it. So I'll just finish a little bit of module admin. I'll leave all the passive modules on display. I don't um, hide them just so you guys can see what my fit is if I'm not specifically talked about the fit in a video, but there you go. And we'll head up. The Praxis has a very slow align time. You have to bear that in mind when you are getting into a little bit of trouble. If we do get into a little bit of trouble on this site, which is kind of what I'm here to revoke, I will show some of you guys, you know, just how to manage that situation. So this is really full of newer players and the guys coming into mission running of any level because this is all relative and or mission for uh, level four specifically you know when you're entry level there's no issue in having to take two bites of the cherry if things get a little bit hot you can usually manage that there's very little that can keep you on these sites so you can't run away so we're going to deal with that kind of stuff first on this site it's that wave of elite frigate so once we've taken care of them, we've got the peace of mind that we can leave as and when. And knowing how long it takes your ship to leave, what to do when things get a little bit um, too spicy for you, for your ship. They're useful things to learn. I fly in low sec. Most of you will know that. I live in low sec. So quite often the fit you're using to run a site or whatever is going to be compromised because you're in low sec. It should be. You've got the players to worry about over there. Anyway, let's get these guys locked up. I was expecting some frigates in this first spawn too, but they're not here. These guys are kind of north, south, east and west of us on the site. So their spawns, I think, are just replacing them, yeah. So we're going to be surrounded by angry mobs. <laughs> and we're going to try to deal with that. I doubt we've got the tank just to ride it out. Right, also, I'm going to cut the launcher off there. Because we're just going to start judging. See, the last missile is already in the air. So, one to cut it off it's definitely worthwhile with the very long very very long reload time we don't want to get too close to the battleship yet we'll head this way and we might start burning away a little bit actually just put a little bit of range you just need one more missile <laughs> the application will vary see now I've wasted one that last missile was in the air but we'll get our head around this this is something you will get used to on a site how many missiles to launch each target right i think that's enough to kill him yes indeed it is right great so we've got the measure of those i think and it's a good thing to do as you're running sites just to get an idea just save yourself a bit of ammo cut down on the reload times anyway i've spawned everything now we've got 10 battleships we've got battle cruisers cruisers we've got frigates and destroyers we are taking a lot of damage everything is hitting us right now i think we're going to prioritise the frigates and the destroyers. The frigates are the ones that could get out and potentially get a tackle and weather us. We don't want that. 
The destroyers can do a bit of damage. They also are going to be horrible to drones. So I'm not putting the drones out yet. I'm just going to take these guys down with my missiles. Now that we've pulled range, we are not taking any more damage from the big ships. So use that micro warp drive to start pulling range as soon as you land on this site. We're learning stuff. The range on the big rat seems to be about 55 kilometers on most of the battleships. Maybe 60 on the uh, superior ones. But we're fine out here. But I've decided we're going to go and rep. I could potentially get the frigates and the destroyers down. Kill out the cruisers. Kill the cruisers and the battle cruisers as they come out towards us now. And basically kite the rest of the site and maybe work our way through it. But kiting takes the longest amount of time. So we're going to get a rep. I didn't expect it to come on quite that strong to be honest with you. Now we're out here, we'll be a little bit safer. I've started up the micro warp drive just to pull a little bit of range so I can finish these last two guys off like I've already got targeted. And then we shall leave. Without the micro warp drive burning, all the rats are much quicker now. Even the battleships are doing over 220 meters a second. So we've taken down as much as we can. We're going to get this last rat, hopefully just before we leave, he's going to die. I'm down into armor. I'm not that scared. It's all about judging the amount of damage that's coming in and knowing when you need to get out. Now, there are much cleaner ways to get out, and I'll show you that next time we come up onto the room. But pull range is the key thing. If things are going wrong, the first thing you need to try to do is pull range and warp out. And with regards to this site specifically, I think we're fine to aggro everything at once, or I should say spawn everything at once like we did there. Just make sure you're 70 kilometers away when you do it for added safety. And once you've taken down the smaller ships, you can just pick your drones out there. And then as the bigger ships do come into range, you'll let them come in gradually and in a controlled manner. And you start killing them with the drones. That would be the safe way to run this site. But we're not here to be safe today. Okay, whilst we're getting the Praxis booked into the repair shop, we'll talk about the skin giveaway. First of all, scrolling up across or down the screen right there will be the names of the winners of the last batch of Megafron skins. Well done to all of you. Unlucky to those that didn't get a skin this time. The comments have been really interesting because this is um, quite a focused part of the game, Level 4 missions, or indeed any mission running. But there are still so many angles and so many attitudes to sort of approach it from and the... Uh, how you actually deal with it is entirely up to you and of course eve is there to be enjoyed in the way that makes you smile the most basically anyway this week's giveaway i've got a choice of skins we've got this smaller skin here fine cruiser skin indeed looks very good with this uh, ship hull actually this skin and we also have the rupture skin so if you could let me know in your comments which will include your in-game name which skin you'd prefer in order of preference and i'll try and sort it out that way so that you're not disbarred from uh, winning any skin because it's not the skin you wanted or if there's any one skin you want just put that one let me know the comments for this week's giveaway i think i'd like the theme to be just to let me know is level four sort of what you do in eve which is cool uh, it used to be mainly what I used to do, certainly when I'd limited the time to play back in the day and I hadn't got quite so adventurous. Or are level 4 missions something you do more to kind of chill out, something you do just when you want to pay a bit of attention to your standings or whatever. So what drives you to do level 4 missions? I certainly know there are better ways to get loot with the time, to be honest with you, and certainly even with cheaper ships, but um, I'm certainly finding a fascination and an interest in them. They're good sites to run in their own special way but there you go so comments down below in-game name and a preference rupture or mauler skin and good luck okay and after that important business let's get to the other important business of repairing our ship and these repair costs just over 7,000 isk for all the armor on a praxis somebody in a comment did say that the praxis is amazingly cheap to repair as is the gnosis so maybe that's a feature of them. I wasn't aware of that. I hadn't noticed that before. Please let me know in a comment because 7,000 isk seems remarkably low. Anyway, let's get back out to the site. First thing we need to know, or first thing we will find out, is where we're going to land in relation to the rats because I've no clue. If we're right in among them, this could be a very hot entry. No, we're okay. Well, <laughs> we're within range of nearly all of them, but we can start pulling away. 
Let's just see how we get on. I'm going to put the infiltrators out. I don't think I'm going to get any drone aggro. I don't want to put the large drones out until I have taken down the last cruisers, just in case uh, large drones move back to your ship so slowly if they start getting aggro, they do tend to die. That's my experience. Once we've just got the battleships left, we'll put the uh, Priators out. Down to half shield already. I'm overheating a couple of my resistance modules here. It can keep you on grid. Here I'm doing it because I want to see what the repair costs are like on the modules compared to the hull. But, um, so I should say the armor. So we'll get into armor and then we'll go and repair and we'll see what we get charged for the modules compared to the paltry sum we got charged for repairing the armor. Anyway, so again, I'm trying to get in a bit closer. I'm not running the guidance computer because sometimes that slot won't be available. Um, I'll, you'll see about that another day, I'm sure. But, um... I'm getting aligned out to the station now, ready, and then we'll pretty much insta-warp when we're ready to go. Not like the handbrake turn we had to do last time, so get pre-aligned if you can, if you can be on the right side of the site, if possible, so the rats aren't between you and your warp out, so you can align without approaching them, that's great. There's a lot for this to handle, so if you want to aggro everything, do hold your range. We obviously haven't got the most magnificent tank at all, on this ship we could spend a bit more money on it but i'm playing this very very clumsy kind of worst case scenario so we're going to go and rep but let's see how much this one costs us we are grinding the rats down and these trips back to the station take about three minutes and that's in a praxis right here we go the moment of truth oh yeah that's 372 grand so the whole repair is incredibly cheap i should say it was the armor repair Oh, the last thing this Praxis wanted me to know, that repairing it was that cheap. I've had this ship into hull more than any other individual ship, that is for sure. Um, did a 5 out of 10 with an Alpha clone. The Angels version where you have to kill the last room because the loot is in a building. I'm going to switch the ammo back to regular heavy missiles rather than Rage. I've done the whole site now with the regular stuff. I may as well stick with it. I also don't want to be tied to being at such a short range. I'm not sure I'm always going to have that missile guidance computer fitted. I might take that slot up with something else. So we'll head out to the site. And I'm sure we've got the measure of what's left on this site now. We can get the drones out. I did notice that when the uh, medium drones were out, they took no aggro anyway. So I'll know that for next time. But the, the rats here don't seem to heavy aggro on the drones. But we'll get the prayer tools out. They can do their work. We'll have max DPS. We know roughly where we need to be. We're close enough for them all to start hitting us here. So it's not a great place to land. But I'm pretty sure we can ride it out now. So we just need to get these ships killed. And of course every rat killed is a decrease in the incoming DPS. The other thing you have to bear in mind. If I was to load up the rage and start going in closer. You really need to win the battle there of... Is your increase in DPS on the rats going to be better than their increase in DPS on you? So if the answer is no, there's not much point in trying to do it, to be fair. It depends how much tank you've got and the potential of your ship. I think one of the main points of this video is not just really about this, um, because obviously this is artificial. I could be doing these missions in a rattlesnake or a bar guest or a blog or whatever I fancied bringing out to do them. But I'm not. I'm clanking around in a praxis. Because there might be a site out there you don't think you can do. But if you're willing to take a little bit of a bashing. And you've got used to how to deal with it. By doing it artificially when you know you can leave whenever you want to. Again like that Angel's 5 out of 10 with the Alpha. Five people told me I wouldn't be able to do that. It took me two hours. But I did it. And it was really fun. It was a really fun two hours of playing Eve. I was very engaged. I was very busy. I had to have a plan. I had to execute it. And it worked. And I got into Hull, I think, twice on that run. And I expected to when it happened, to be quite honest. It was okay. So there you go. The last rat's down. This is obviously a big stretch for this fit. It was designed to be. Those drones, this is like three times speed. Look how slow those drones are coming back. Bless them. That's why heavy drones can be a liability to themselves as much as anything else because they take so long to come in when you need to recall them because they're getting aggro anyway that took about 20 minutes from beginning to end obviously we've sped it up etc etc so we'll try to work on the time i've learned a lot i know the range of the rats 
it's anywhere up to about 60k but I want to stay really above 50 take them as they come out if I'm gonna aggro the whole room again I want to kind of get myself positioned so they don't all actually get at me at range at once if possible so we've learnt a lot and the Praxis and I have had some fun together which is always good so we'll take the mission reward not huge so we knew if you play this mission right well i know if you play this mission right it's not hard going at all but anyway my friends we're going to leave you there good luck with the giveaway any comments are always welcome not just for skins leave us a like if you've liked it please that's always helpful and subscribe if you'd like to see more so take care of yourselves take care of each other and i genuinely mean it when i say if you're never in hole then you are playing too dull I've come out of a heroic fight going against a cruiser and a destroyer with 11 hit points of my hole left and I was so chuffed. Those moments of glory don't come by kiting sitting at range with a perma tank. Anyway, keep safe, fly brave and for now my friends, goodbye. Warp drive active.